Now, covering Wisconsin weather for 19 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Welcome back. I got to go out by the little lake last weekend at my apartment <laughs> complex, and somebody said, you're going to do that again this weekend? I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe on Sunday. Yeah. Tomorrow's not going to be the best day, but Sunday the weather is going to start to improve, and it's going to start to feel more like May once again as we head through the next 7 to 10 days. Highs tomorrow will be well below normal. For the most part, only in the mid to upper 50s. Look for mid to upper 60s on Sunday and Monday. Close to 70 on Tuesday and Wednesday. A little bit cooler by next Thursday and Friday. But nowhere near as cool as what we're seeing right now. Take a look at these temperatures. 10, 15, 20 degrees below normal for this time of year. Lower to mid 40s near Lake Michigan. Upper 40s to lower 50s further inland. Right now in Appleton, it is 48 degrees with mainly cloudy skies. In Green Bay, it is cloudy. We've had a few light rain showers move through within the last hour or so. The temperature sits at 49 degrees. Lots of sunshine this morning. That sunshine quickly gave way to cloudy skies as we moved into the afternoon. And this evening, those clouds are producing some scattered showers across the area. As you take a look at NBC 26 Precision Radar, you can see most of the shower activity is north and west of the Fox Valley. And it is mainly rain, but once again, we could see a little bit of sleet and or some snow mix in at times. That's what happened this morning across northern Illinois from Chicago back towards Rockford. Many spots saw accumulating snow. You can see that on NBC. C26 precision radar right there, the large area of pink and blue. And as you look closer here across central and northern Wisconsin, you can see some pink and blue as well. And once again, that means there's a chance for maybe an ice pellet or a snowflake mixing in with the rain showers as we move through the evening. Our main weather maker is this large area of low pressure. It controlled our weather yesterday. It'll control our weather tomorrow once again. Underneath it, lots of clouds. Showers and cool temperatures, highs running well below normal for this time of year across the upper Midwest. And with clearing skies later on tonight, the temperature is going to drop once again. We've got frost advisories for just about the entire state. Nothing up north because it's too early in the season for frost advisories. Saturday still looking pretty cool. We've got an area of low pressure once again. Slowly working off towards the north and east. Temperatures will be well below normal, but out to the west, it's going to start to warm up. And that warmer weather will push in here on Sunday with more sunshine. Here's a look at your forecast for the Green Bay Marathon. Although daybreak temperatures right around 5.30 in the morning will probably be in the mid to upper 30s. It looks like by 7 o'clock we'll see lower 40s. By 8 o'clock when the half marathon kicks off, upper 40s by 11 o'clock. Look for lots of sunshine. Southwest winds at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures will be approaching 60. So tonight, p.m. showers, then clearing and frosty lows around freezing. Tomorrow morning sunshine. The clouds will build up once again, just like today. We'll have a chance for a few showers. It will be a little bit warmer with highs mainly in the upper 50s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 57. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we'll donate $100 to Babes Incorporated. It is a child abuse prevention program located in the Fox Cities. We did that today. I forecast 52. The actual high was 53. 66 on Sunday, 68 on Monday with increasing clouds. Good chance for some showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday, especially early, warmer, 70. Lower 70s on Wednesday, mid 60s. Next Thursday and Friday. Take a look at this picture. It comes to us from Lance Van Dyke in Manitowoc. Look at all of that green. Casey, that means I'm going to be cutting the grass this weekend <laughs> for sure. If you would like to join the NBC26 weather team, just send your picture to icontribute at NBC26.com. You'll be cutting the grass and running the half marathon. Yes. You're maybe excited. I'll cut the grass tomorrow and then run the half marathon Sunday morning. Yes, I'm excited. I'm ready for it. It's always a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, good luck to you. It's going to be a you. good one. It will. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. Now let's take a look at what you'll see tonight at 6 o'clock. Stacey Ingebretson is live in the